Challenge week 18. <laughs> what does deity God define divine mean to you? Now, I tried doing this batch before, and then it's like my brain was just everywhere but here. But the same points kind of remain the same on, on this particular topic. I don't think you can have religion, regardless of the pagan, Christian, Jewish, or whatever, without a concept of divine or deity. Um, so, it's sort of the pinnacle of spirituality. No, I suppose you can be spiritual without actually having to focus on a specific god, but for you know, someone like me whose brain is always all over the place, having something to kind of focus on in sort of a... <clears throat> For me, like, religions are wheels with lots of spokes in deity, in the concept, and sort of what you center on is that hub, and then the different practices and the different ways you celebrate it and focus on it and all those other little bits and baubles, you know, kind of, everything comes into that one point. So, and then I'm coming from a Christian background, but... <clears throat> that concept of deity, you know, God, the men, the dude, you know, it's like, there's always something not quite right. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, then, you know, why the heck do I got these? You know, it's like, if everything's so masculine, what's the point of feminine? So when I kind of discovered, you know, paganism and the thoughts and the concepts, which I'm still kind of forming, you know, it's like, now it makes so much sense, where it is a polarity. It's day, it's night, it's man, it's woman, it's, you know, up and down. So, if I manage to kind of coalesce what DT means to me, it is the concept of the whole, and all the facets that sort of make up that whole. As far as defining what deity is, I think that's an individual thing. Like, to me, deity is the universe. It, like, consider the universe and what you know is that it's made up of. The planets, asteroids, galaxies, you know, all the stuff that you know of that's in the universe. Think of it as, like, cells or organs. Like, the galaxies are the organs and the planets are, like, you know, the, the cells and it's they're pieces of a larger life form so the sentient that is everything you know that's sort of deity and then being human on the opposite end of the scale where the we're like the you know cytoplankton or you know, whatever in, in the cells that you kind of need to sort of take chunks of the universe to kind of wrap your head around so, you know, like, Thoth is the god of wisdom and knowledge and, you know, the thinking man's god, you know, and then Isis, the god of magic, and then, you know, that's why you have so many deities that represent so many things that, you know, you can kind of digest better. So, in general, deity, I think, is very important as far as actual gods with names. It's a way for us to digest the epicness that is the universe or what, you know, I consider the Lord and the Lady, the two who are the one. You know, the two that connect me to the greater whole. So, it's probably the most important concept, whether you're pagan, Christian, whatever. There's always a focus point that you're connected to, whether you believe it's an external force, or if it's something you internalize. Deity is probably A1, numero uno, major concept which is sort of the center of kind of what I'm doing. It's sort of what I gather everything to. So <laughs> that 
long-winded explanation. That probably made no sense, but then how do you define God, goddess, deity, big kuna? So that was week 18 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. What does deity, God, define, divine, there's no F in divine, mean to you? Thank you for watching, and blessed be.